well, for some strange reason, my tablet don't never have enough room for me to do no videos. So I shot a minute and 57 seconds on my other, on my tablet. So I'll finish it up with this. But like I was saying, the National Model Railroad Association has a, has, has decided to do like politicians, like I said in my last little small clip. They would like to, they would like to have you thinking that model railroading is only for older Caucasian guys and older, you know, Caucasian guys and their wives. They don't think that nobody of versatility, black, white, uh, Utino, Mexican, whoever, is supposed to be any part of this hobby. Their old recruitment video, it shows you about all the, the, the benefits you'll have to be a part of the National Model Railroad Association. And they tell you that you get discounts and you're able to attend the Model Railroad Association's big, you know, uh, what would you call it? Uh, soiree of a whole bunch of people together, COVID-19. You know, so they conventions. They want you to come. They want you to pay X amount of dollars so you can see people that call themselves master model railroads. Notice it says at the beginning, break it down, master. Hmm. So this that to me is like you take a model car kit and you put it together normally. Okay, just like on the, just like on the box. Okay, now the next person take that same model car kit, put some put some different type of wheels on it, put an interior in it that it didn't have at first. Might even put some working lights on the back, put some uh, spark plug wires on the motor, and they consider themselves a better modeler than you are. So they consider that as master, master. Okay. So let's get it with these train things. People who been liking trains for 70, 80, 84, 87, 90 years. Been liking trains that long. When American Fly was the stuff that you could buy. Timken was the stuff that you could buy. Lionel, everybody started out with a Lionel, American Fly, and Timken. Okay, Cox even had some Anthem trains, but it was named, it was formed upon the Cox. Okay, so, you know, let's, let's talk about this. 79, 80 years in model railroad when Tyco was the dominant force. Bachman was the dominant force. Anton slid in there a little later, took out Tyco. Bachman slid in and, had, and then came up with Lifelike. Master model railroaders. Wow. So they, t they go on and tell you that the, end, the, 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 the National Model Railroad Association, because of them, they become the standards. They they taught the, the manufacturers the standards of what model railroading should be. The wheel gauge, the track gauge, you know, you got your N-scale one, your HO one, and your O gauge one. Okay, your car height for your height for your couplers, the kind of wheels you should have on your layout. No, no, what I said, your layout. They're going to tell you what kind of wheels you should have. Okay, they're going to tell you what you should have in DCC. Something that we didn't have until maybe 20 years ago. But Marklin and Trix and them over in Germany had it already. I'm sorry, did it come over here? Yes, it did. And the way it was offered, it was offered like it was like, just like, just like flat screen TVs. It was expensive at first, now it's getting cheaper. And then they didn't made, then companies come along and start making computer chips, the decoders. Because Digitrack had it down first, kind of in a sense. I would say second, they didn't have it first. So they kind of had it down and they kind of expand with it. So now all of a sudden you got MCE and MCE just, I don't know, they done did something different. Gave you a little throttle that just like your telephone, you can actually hold it in your hand. You know, so Digitrack, you need to catch up. So, you know, once again, these standards that the National Model Railroad Association has came up with. So this is some of the advantages of being a national, a member of the National Model Railroad Association. It ain't, it ain't being diverse and bringing everybody along in the hobby. Because once again, when you see the old recruitment clip, it only shows one, one brown skin guy, and you barely can see him. He's sitting in one of the classes. 
So, I mean, how are you going to tell somebody that you want people to join something and you're not even diverse? It did like a Ken Patterson today. He did his little November 14th, little November 14th uh, 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 podcast, 136. Oh, yeah, I watch him. He got his hat on. I mean, he got his, he does, he did his hair all like that, you know, being funny. He thinks this is funny, but I, I'm watching him work this, work this, you know, trying to get this situation together. And he's doing his hair like that, you know, being funny, telling everybody quiet down, telling Daniel Coos, don't worry about it. I mean, don't forget, this was about trains. This ain't about you able to tell somebody what to do, Mr. Master Model Railroader, because you take pictures. I can take pictures. Does that make me a master? I can take motherfucking pictures as well? Really? Master model railroader? They listen, they got master model railroader number one. They got you numbered of where you fall in line. Really? So now we'd be wrong we came up with the Black Model Railroad Association. We would be wrong for doing that. We'd be wrong because a car he got a magazine called Black Model Railroading. Well, we would be wrong for that. We'd be just all, that's just all racist. If you're going to be a part of this world, you got to include people in this world. The world don't revolve around you. You revolve around the world. Because when you die, the world will still be going. So where do you get the world revolves around you? Master motherfucking model. What the hell? Are you serious? You can't recruit black people, but you can show one token. This like Trump. Show this little token black person behind him. So you want to be like that. You want you just want to just say that this hobby is just for white people. This hobby is for everybody. I got one man tell me I probably got more stuff than most people on YouTube. Okay, I appreciate that. But he a nice guy. Fred, appreciate you. But I can't sit real. I'm like Al Mayo and, 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 and Engineer Ho. I can't be real. Uh, that James Wright dude, he get around he get around uh, 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 Patterson and them, and he just melts like butter. He become Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom Wright. He can't even he can't even speak up for himself because he's too busy grinning <laughs> with his PTSD. Not talking about people who done had problems. But golly, what do you represent, bro? Who you invited over to your house? Nobody. And here it is, here it is, Ken Pass. You, 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 you keep talking, tell everybody calm down at your house. But who you got there that is of another rip, a uh, 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 color, another <laughs> represent? Who, 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 who's there? You don't invite nobody. But I, I, I swear up and down, if I ask you in person, are you yeah, prejudiced? You'll swear up and down and say, oh, no, I invite anybody to my house. But your videos yeah. don't show that. You're on hold there, so I'll see you just ain't tight. Your videos do not show that. You need to step up, be bigger than who you are, because don't forget, you started out just taking pictures. In the Midwest Model Railroad Club, you did a little, had a little module club. You started out like that. Okay. And then you got the audacity to have a fucking podcast and nobody got a damn mask on. What the hell is wrong with you? But you're going to tell everybody, well, everybody behind the camera got masks on. But you poor dudes sitting up there ain't got no masks on. Are you serious? And you old. Man, what is this damn world coming to? Do you know we got a disease out here that's killing everybody? So nobody feels like they got to, 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 to let all that bullshit by, go by and become a real human being and actually give a shit about the next man or next woman? Is there something wrong with you that you're scared to do that? Are you serious? People up in North, South Dakota talking about, I don't believe this. I didn't. I ain't sick from COVID nineteen. And they sitting up there dying, and the nurses telling telling the lady on the news like they talked to me and telling me they last remarks. They say they thinking they don't have no COVID. They think it's the people in the hospital to tell them a lie, and they taking their last breath. 
And all she can do is go on to the next person trying to help them. And the next, the next dumbass who didn't want to wear a mask, who didn't want to social distance. Man, y'all, but boy, look, that's, that's why I stay to myself. I'm in my cocoon right now, in my truck. It's just me. Everybody else on the outside looking in. Everybody else on the outside. I know I'm doing it fast because I don't care. But I'm in my truck. I got my mask right here when I need to put my mask on when I get out my truck. I don't need to be up in nobody's face because I because I have a habit. I kind of spurt a little bit so I make sure I stay my six my six inches my six foot not six inches six foot sorry about that my six foot distance then I don't go nowhere I go to the hobby store I'm covered up got to you can't you can't just take it for granted just because you see these people every day we see our friends every day that they nobody been in contact with nobody that's been in contact with nobody that's been in contact with nobody that's been in contact with somebody and I had to say it that way because we take things for granted who are you people are you a human being for real a human being a human being ain't black white green yellow red a human being is a human damn being okay your skin tone might be different than mine your facial hair might be different than mine. Your hair might be different than mine. You might be bald. You might be tall. You might be fat. You might be skinny. You might wear glasses, which I don't wear now. Uh, you might have to wear glasses. You might have went to the doctor and got your little stomach tied and lost weight. You liable to start taking steroids so you can have big muscles. You liable to want to get your breasts bigger. You liable to want to get your belly shrank down. You liable to want to have a baby. All right, you liable to want to donate some sperm. But you liable to want to do something in this world. But the one thing you can do in this world is be a human damn being and care about the next man instead of just caring about yourself, even though you should care about yourself, but also care about the next man. And then got the nerve to say God in a minute. Y'all say God in a minute. Y'all better catch y'all self. God already know what you about to say. Before you say it. He know. He writing it down in a little stroke. Yeah, BJ said this. BJ said that. BJ thinking this because I'm telling him to think it. But one thing about it is that dude right there will give his last to somebody who need it. Somebody that might need a coat. Somebody that might need something to eat. Okay. He will do that. And I have done that. Not getting the same thing in return all the time, but it's okay. Not trying to complain about it, but I'm, I just made it aware because that's what we do. We complain about it. Who the hell are we? And this all came from just model trains. This 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 frustration I had came from model trains. I have it from model trains. Watching somebody acting like I'm not supposed to have any trains. I'm just, just supposed to be there. Uh, why don't you go to the back and go pick this up for me? Why don't you do this for me? Master model motherfucking railroader. What the? Uh, so, so like, just like in the plantation, the master at the plantation. Come on, really? You go out there and pick the cotton. Mm. I don't know what y'all gonna do when I do a real deep cop podcast because I got one coming. I'm going to explain to you about Republicans and, and people in general. I'm going to explain all that to you because, you know, Republicans, they want you to not have abortions so that, so that so you can raise, so you can uh, bring into the world another Republican to vote for them, but they don't want to help take care of that Republican, so that's why they refuse you to have food stamps. They don't want you to have no money. You guys they, want you, they don't want you to have none of that. Okay, we about to start working. I'm out. Peace.